So I'm doing a YouTube tutorial on how I cover up my hyperpigmentation with makeup. So if you want to see that video, stay tuned. So this is me with no makeup. And as you can see, I have a little bit of dark marks from pimples that I get from my mask. So right now I'm just using the Hangover Primer by Too Faced. And I like this primer because it hydrates my skin. So before I start, I go in with a Juvia's Place Concealer and it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone and my foundation. But I do this so that it will mix well when I put on the darker color over it. So I just blend that in with a beauty blender and I don't use a lot of product. I just use a little bit just to cover it. <laughs> So this is how it looks and it's going to look a little bit light and ashy but don't worry the foundation will cover over this. So I'm using the NARS Share Glow Foundation and I love this foundation because it's super lightweight and even though it's sheer it does have a little bit of coverage. It's just enough coverage that I need to give me a flawless look. I'm blending this in with my Hourglass foundation brush, just like a dual head one. And I really like this one, it's really soft. And I use one side to buff in my foundation and the other side to like buff in my contour. You could use either, either or for like concealer or whatever you choose, but I just use it for foundation. <laughs> two clips I just use a little bit more foundation to cover up the dark spots and I want to keep this look very radiant but let's talk about how I was watching a show Bling Empire while I was doing my makeup and y'all Kelly and Andrew their relationship is so crazy watch my reaction in this next clip Pause, 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 pause. So, I keep seeing this weird look. I'm not going to say weird, but I keep seeing this woman, like, all over my timeline. And I've seen somebody talk about this show, Bling Empire, episode one. Why is this girl's man, is Kelly, why is Kelly's man blacking on her on her birthday? Like, he is screaming screaming at her like there ain't no joke. what <laughs> i'm hooked okay back to the makeup i'm just contouring my face with la Kogo concealer i like this concealer because um she's for contour because it's kind of cool but not too warm like i realize that sometimes when i when it comes to these brown shades they're either too warm or too cool but this one is pretty good, although I would like it to be a little bit more orange. Maybe I'll mix it with orange to get the right color. But I like the formula. Try to change it now. See you got a bounce when two seconds ago. Said you just got in the house. It's hard to believe that you are at home by yourself. When I just heard the voice, heard the voice of someone else. Just this question why? Do you feel you gotta lie? Getting caught up in your game when you cannot say my name. I always say that I am a super thing. Something's going down, that's the way it seems. Shouldn't be the reason why you act this way. Nobody's holding you back from me. Cause I know how you used to do. When you're saying everything to me times two, why can't you just tell the truth? 
So now I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer and these concealers are okay, they're a little bit more liquidy so they can crease a bit which is annoying but I like their color selection and they aren't, they're not transparent but they're they're pretty opaque. I just don't like the fact that they're so watery, I would rather them have like a more creamy texture. <laughs> my covergirl powder i like this powder it's a cheap foundation um drugstore powder that you can use to bake yes i really like this one it's lightweight and that's the theme of this tutorial it's just lightweight but giving you full coverage <laughs> So now I'm just doing my eyes. I ended up using a MAC palette. I don't know what it's called. And I ended up using um, the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson collab palette. And even though, you know, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star are messy as hell, I do like this palette. It was a gift. And it's just a nice palette. And I like it. So I use it sometimes. Um, Yes, but that's what I use on my eye makeup and just doing a simple look. It's just supposed to be glowy and dewy and nothing too crazy. Like this should be for like every day, but you can go out with this look. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury um, face powder that I like. It's like a pressed powder. It's really nice for my under eye. And I'm using this Juvia's Place palette for blush because I really like this pink color. I can't forget my lashes. I'm wearing my lashes in the style Aurora today. 
and I'm using this lip gloss by Danesca Merricks. I really like this lip gloss. It's like the perfect clear lip gloss. And you can use it like on your eyelids as well. But yes, get into these lashes if you want a pair. Make sure you shop my store to buy them. They're only $15 and they come with a free lash glue. Like, isn't that a great deal? So this is the finished look. I really, really like it. I think it's so cute, so nice, dewy. It's exactly how I turned, how I wanted it to be. And I'm happy with it. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I love doing this look, especially on natural days. And even though it looks Full coverage or at least medium coverage it definitely feels lightweight on my skin I don't feel like I have a lot of product on my skin and I virtually just I virtually um, just use different products that are more sheer and um, I really like these even though some of these products I use in my main routine um, I just change my method I, and I just change the way I do the makeup to make it look more natural to make it look more like you know I just have beautiful skin and the main thing that's making this look like a natural radiant look is the sheer glow foundation from NARS I really love this and I just go under it with my Juvia's Place concealer because I do have some dark spots and I want my skin to look radiant and natural I really don't want to highlight my blemishes or make them look noticeable but I love this foundation I love all products from the NARS line because they are so versatile they are lightweight and it's just good formulation and it's the perfect color match for me I never go wrong with Tahoe from NARS honestly and yeah I just love this look because I could wear this like if I'm just going out like to get something to eat or even if I'm going to the grocery store like, I could just wear this look and that's a subject to me if my makeup look is versatile um, if I was going to like the grocery store or just somewhere local um, I probably wouldn't wear the lashes I showed you guys how the look how the look looked how the makeup looked look without the lashes and it looked pretty good I'm just gonna look at it now on my camera let's see yeah and it's just nice radiant like it's very dewy and glowy which is what I love this is the same hair that I have in my last video and I'm just wearing it like this today because I might put it up in a ponytail, you know. And you know how I feel about this hair. And so you guys could more so see like the wave pattern. <sighs> I'm starving. Anyways, I'm not going to sit here and talk for too long. I don't have much to talk about. But if you guys like tutorials like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit the bell notification so you can see every time I post. I know I post sporadically, like like whenever, like sometimes you might not hear from me from a month and sometimes you might hear from me every week in a month. But if you guys press the bell notification, you'll be able to see whenever I post and you just get notified and then you can just watch my new video and be one of the first ones. So yes, Please leave me a comment down below if you like this video. Make sure you share it with all your friends. And I'll see you guys next time.